Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to the Ceramic Repair Studio. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you how to fix a chipped jug. Now, as you can see, here I have an old jug and it's got a fairly large chip, almost at the rim if you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a product called Milliput. Now it comes in two parts and the colour I'm using today is super fine white. It does come in various other colours as well. Um, just quickly, I'm not sponsored at all, it's just a product I use all the time. I find it very easy to handle and to sculpt with. So it comes in two parts and we add sort of 50 of one and 50% of the other. So I'm just going to take literally just a piece in my hand like this and I like to roll this up in a ball I do find it's easier to see sort of compare the sizes so one ball there also make sure you always put it back in just to make sure it doesn't dry out as well now if you do have a product very similar to Millie Puts that you're using please put it down in the description box below it's always good to know um, of other products and here's another ball I've just made as well so roughly the same size so I'm just going to put that back in there and we want to combine them together now it has you have to make sure that you really do have the right quantities if you have one too much of one and less of the other it really won't set and you'll be there for a very long time trying to make it set so make sure that they're both the same quantities and keep mixing and you tend to find with milliputs they the colours slightly vary which is great because then you can tell when it's fully combined so when you first start doing it if you can see it starts off and it almost looks like it's a marble effect and by the time it's combined it should feel like blue tack in the fingers nice and pliable and you won't have that um that marble look so almost there it just takes a couple of minutes just keep massaging it and blending it through. <laughs> now, if you do have too much milliput, I also make little discs with them. Again, it's always useful if you've got a, um, an item and you just want to compare colours, for instance. So this is a this is a silver blue, a grey blue. Um, uh, obviously, we've got the white here. So you could always do that and then the turquoise so i'm always keeping little extra bits and that's it i think that's the yellow so if you can keep those right now this is looking like it's almost there now i've also got a small cup of water here just so when we finish we can actually just smooth it out with our fingers that will actually make um, when it comes to the sanding a lot easier Right, so that looks nice and combined and it's feeling like blue tack in the fingers, so it's quite easy and pliable. So I'm going to take my piece here and I like to sort of make a shape to roughly the shape of the crack, well, of the missing piece. And then we'll just place it, let's do it that way, place it on. So obviously it's better to make too much than not enough and obviously if it's too much you can just take bits off if you have too much on there you'll end up giving yourself a lot of hard work at the end of the day by actually having to sand and grind more so let's see how that is see if that's any better now you don't need to place any glue with this it is it does sort of stick by itself and um, because it's not too big a break and then just place it on again we can always take bits off and I also have a small craft knife which is really useful so we can actually hold back and just very very carefully take off any excess now you want the milliput to be covering over and a little bit more so you've got some space to actually sand.
Yeah, that's looking good. And then just a little bit over. And you want to make sure it's the same on the impart inside as well. So once we've done that, so I'm just going to take some water in the cup and just place some on my, with my hands here, on my, just on my fingers, and I'm just smoothing it out. And this will make it a lot easier when it comes to sanding. And I'll just go in. It doesn't have to be precise. Now this takes around 24 hours to actually dry but I like to and to harden but I like to leave it a good 48 hours so there we are so I'm going to leave this for 48 hours and then we'll be ready for sanding so hope you enjoyed the video again please subscribe if you'd like more hints and tips on china and ceramic restoration and pottery and if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up I'll put another video up for you to have a look at and I look forward to seeing you there. Okay, bye.